The installations menu is a new concept introduced in the HD Ranger product that allows you to have all the information related to a specific installation or maintenance work conveniently classified together in the same folder. This includes channel tables to be used during the measurements, data logger files or screenshots. Pressing the folder key we must go to Create New. It all starts by setting up a new installation, which we can easily do with a new installation wizard. We will first be requested to enter a name. Using the keypad and the joystick we can enter any name, test in this case. If we don't want to reuse data from another existing installation, we can press Next to select the terrestrial band channels that we will want to use. In this example, we select the standard CCIR containing all VHF and UHF channels and CCIR test, which is a table we have previously created using the PC software that contains only three channels of our choice. The measurements on these three channels will be taken as a reference for data reports later on. In the same way, for satellite, we select Hotbird standard channel table that includes all transponders available at 13 degrees east orbital position and the simplified table, again test, with a selection of four transponders of our choice. DICEC commands can be linked to satellite tables at this point. This might be a requirement if your installation includes various satellite feeds accessible through multi-switches. There is a label on the top left of the screen indicating the installation file you are working with. To change to another installation file, we press the folder key, then select the desired installation and press load on F1. There is no limitation in terms of flexibility regarding channel table addition. Standard channel tables, such as CCIR, include all frequencies that can be used for television broadcasts. Using the PC software, we can create new tables to meet the needs of our installation work. CCIR test is a good example because it only has those channels that we will want to include in our reports. The exclusive channel set exploration function can also be used to create simplified versions of a standard channel table. To enter this function, you must press Tools on F3 and then go to Explore Channel Set. The HD Ranger will scan the channel set and will try to find out which channels are actually being used in this particular installation. This will be shown on the right side of the screen. At the end of the process, we will be able to save this data in a new channel table and start using it right away. We can always go back to our installations menu to check what data is available. Once the work is done, it will be time to look back and create nice reports for your customer using the data logger. It is available under the tools menu and it starts with the data logger with her. A name can be entered using the keypad and the joystick. Pressing next will take us to the channel table selection for terrestrial band and satellite band. Piece of cake. The HD Ranger data logger can record signal measurements, power, bit error ratio, MER, but you also have the option to retrieve other data in the NIT table such as the service list of the MOOCs you are tuning to. Not selecting this option will make the data logger run faster. Some installations will have UHF and satellite bands separate in two different wall connectors. You can select now if you want the data logger to stop before switching bands. 
so that you have time to change the RF cable. It is now time to add a new test point. The HD Ranger will suggest a name, TP01 in this case, but we can enter any name that reminds us about the location where we are taking the measurements. Pressing Acquisition and Start is all you have to do to lock all the data. Once the process is over, the data is available on the screen, classified by test point and band. We must then go to another location, another room in the hotel for example, and repeat the process for TP02. All this information is also saved in a file that can be sent to a PC for further processing. The data logger file is available in the corresponding installation folder.